Hey everybody, it's me, James, and today is just a shave, um, just enjoying my day, trying to stay positive. Uh, as a lot of you already know, been praying for me, and please keep up the prayers. I'm looking for work, uh, trying to, you know, get myself a job that can help support the family, pay the bills, all the other stuff that come with a nice job as far as benefits and whatnot. Um, so that's, you know, I'm still in the middle of that, but thank you. Keep up the prayers. I really appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, so today, what do I have going on? Well, first and foremost, I saw Steve out there. He was doing his shave today and, um, not doing anything like, uh, what I think Steve is doing. Um, but I'm excited to see what Steve uh, puts in line for his next video, and that's Steve Walker, Huntsville Shaver, the guy who's responsible for putting the Dirty South Shaver venue together and just kind of getting us all hooked up. So thank you, Steve. Appreciate that. Um, so for today's shave, well, going back to something uh, that I like, which is Anise and this Nouvelle Fougère from Cold River Soap Works has a hint of anise in this fougere flavor and it's just enough so that you notice it's there uh, anybody that hates black licorice you probably won't like it uh, but for me I really like it a lot it's I don't think it's strong but I notice it so I know it's there the anise and so that's this one I don't know what the new um, or if it's even continued now because cold river soap works for anyone that's been following larry and his product knows that everything is now a black label and it's just a little bit different um but this is a tello based one from the older formulas and this was called the classic versus the original all right the razor well razor Anyone that knows me of late knows that this is my favorite safety razor. So the, I'm going with the Mongoose. And I got the Kai Captain Titan, Titan Captain Mild in it. Alright, and to get started beforehand, like I said, I don't mess around with length of time on my hair. I went with the Thrust Flores Molding Pomade. This is a water-based pomade and the stuff is for all the OGs out there you know what I'm talking about and for anyone new better ask somebody and I just splashed it off with the Thrust Flores Brilletine and uh, just puts a nice sheen afterwards on it all right, so after the shave, I'm going to go with the Thayer's Lemon. And aftershave is going to be the Fine Clean Vetiver, because out of all the aftershaves that I have, this uh, seems to complement it pretty well. Uh, there was another one that I was going to, uh, that I was considering, which was from Barrister and Man, and that was the uh, Cologne Ruse. And I thought that that would go well as but I think this one goes just a little bit better. All right, so the brush. Well, the brush is going to be what I consider the Sterling uh, New Synthetics using the Fasan, uh, Plesson-like fibers. And I'm going with the Grooming Company in the Buffalo Bills Handle Edition. And I'm going to pour out the water. You know what's coming next. That's right, pour the bloom water into here and leave just a smidgen on top. Here we go. Load it up. I was watching Dave, I think his name is David. David, I hope that's you, brother. Your name. Uh, from Stay Smooth Shaving, and he just did Dapper Dragon, and uh, he did Dapper Dragon Pomegranate, which, you know, I'm sad to see it go. It's a, I think it's a really good scent. So guys, if 
if uh, Eric still has any on his website. I'd advise to grab it. I think it's a really good scent um, in the citrus group, and I think you guys would like it not just for the summertime, but all year round. I know I do. Um, it's a really pleasant scent. And as far as um, other things, I saw David Griffin doing the Crown King shaving soap for the uh, tribute uh, type to Williams Aqua Velva Blue. And uh, David, great job, brother. Mind those kids. Get those waves going. All right. All right, so everybody that knows me knows that I'm also trying to do my best to uh, help Steve along with just getting news out and whatnot. So if you can be in the Huntsville, Alabama area, the 16th, and 17th, 17th is the day of the event, 16th is the meetup at Soap Commander Headquarters in the evening. Soap Commander Headquarters for the pre-meetup social. And then of course, on the, man look at that creamy proto leather, that is just nice. Um, and of course I approved this scent. All right. There we go. Get some more of that out of the container. And I'm going to rinse this out real quick. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Here we go. Again, I don't mind using the grooming coat brush. But, uh, I would have to kick it more to a travel brush at this point just because of the uh, Sterling 26 millimeter and my other synthetics that are, for me, are just a little bit more pleasant to use in the larger loft. This isn't a small knot, 24, 25 ish. Man, look at that. Creamy goodness. Melted ice cream there. All right. Pour the rest of that blue water down there. So, what's new in the world? Roof has been established. We've got a new roof. Uh, very happy, blessed about that. Um, so hopefully that'll help the sale of the home go a lot faster. Uh, we're going to try to get it up and for sale here by the end of this week. It's Wednesday now, so hopefully by Friday our home will be on the market. And hopefully we can get that done quickly you know it's all God's timing but that's the plan <laughs> that he'll provide that but who really knows right I saw Aunt Smith out there in the UK welcome back <laughs> you hipster I can tell Aunt has his views on shaving videos and you know I don't necessarily say his views for what he feels are wrong but um, yes and there are a lot more people out here doing videos and me personally I'm okay with that because uh, seeing a face and hearing the words come from the person and everything like that uh, for me is just much more enjoyable than looking in a dull forum old school style for me so for those that are willing to 
uh, be brazen enough to come out here in the video world. I thank you guys. I know it's not easy at first and uh, it takes a little bit of uh, don't take this the wrong way but it takes a little bit of narcissism in any type of way to be able to do it in my opinion not really humble but definitely should still try to work towards humility not saying that you can't practice humility in do shedding videos i'm just saying that it takes a little bit to kind of come out there and show yourself you know and for me to learn who people are where they're from the types of lives that they live i think uh, this is like again this is the best medium to do that in today's age We're so much across the world and everywhere different that it doesn't make any sense. If you can do it, do it. But for those that are new and doing it, please don't get offended if I don't watch a video or someone else doesn't. It takes a while, you know. Um, do it for the enjoyment of it. Do it for the, uh, like for in my case, you know, not only for people in the wet shaving community to watch or see what I'm talking about but uh, for me to pass on a legacy journal myself watch myself come back and see how I'm doing God forbid please Lord if uh, Alzheimer's were to strike me like it did my grandfather. And if that's the case, then this is one of the only ways I have to go back and look at and hear what I'm talking about in life, just to kind of, you know, have a clue. Yeah, I know that's kind of dark, but that was my thinking, having a grandfather that suffered from Alzheimer's, was how can I journal something and have it to be pretty much permanent, you know? My kids have started school. I'm excited for them. My daughter's going into her, well, she is a senior. My son is a sophomore in high school here in the U.S. And just praying that everything works out for them this year. All right, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, gonna go ahead and rinse off and I'll be back. Thanks. All right, I'm back. Here we go, pass two not number two like Steve does on video so I'm really excited to see the artisans that are gonna be able to make it Rob at Sterling Soaps bro I hope everything works out for you and the best to you guys on school and other things go on in life through September be praying that uh, that works out to your benefit as far as grades and everything and that you don't drive yourself crazy and uh, Douglas I know people try to get you all over the country and I hope everything works out for you to be able to attend and Geo Fat Boy, everybody else out there, Mark, Mantic59, Lynn Abrams, all my homies out there. I know Chris has got TSE, has got other things going on, but everyone else, man, that has some kind of contact with me, Ray. Stallion, So Sharp David, Rico Suave. 
Um, Con, I really wish you could make it, brother. Uh, I understand, don't get me wrong, Australia and all, but... Um, anyone else, if you can make it, come to the Dirty South Shavers Meetup in Hunts Huntsville, Alabama. Steve has it set up at Yellowhammer Brewery, and of course, like I already said, 16th, pre-social media that Friday at Soap Commander Hair Headquarters with the Cyberts, Darren and Carrie. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Pass two. Man, this stuff is so creamy and slick. It's good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe Robert from Legends here in uh, my town, if you saw my last video. Just opened up a retail shaving shop. Woo! Wish I had money. Um, hopefully he can make it there. Where did I nick myself? Probably be bleeding somewhere around my Adam's apple here shortly. That's all right. It's all right. Aaron Wolfenberger. I hope you can make it, bro. And it seems like Aaron's on the other side of this Tennessee. I'm in the Memphis area, so he's out more towards like Knoxville. Dr. Sharp won't be able to make it. He's got things with his family going on. However, I have no idea if you watch Mr. Bob, Bob's Razors. Uh, you do some fantastic work as far as restorations. You're here in Tennessee. Um, if you could make it, that would be great. I'd love to have some more uh, straight razor knowledge. Someone that's been doing it for a while. It's also part of the reason why I want Lynn and Stallion and some other folks to go so sharp David. Just want people that have experienced a lot of uh, different things in their shaving lives. So we'll see how it goes. Just heard the front door. My son's getting ready to go to church. He's just a great young guy. Love my son. Love my family, but uh, you guys would have to know my son to understand. Just a special cat. All right, so let me see where I'm at. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's really good. For my taste, I don't need any closer than that at all. Um, this soap was a gift a while back from Larry. Larry, thank you. It's still a soap that I like to use. You may not see it on video as much. I don't shave every day, but it still goes through my rotation. And thank you, sir. Um, yeah. All right. So that's everything. I'm going to rinse off. I'll be right back and go through the rest of the aftershave and everything. All right. All right, everyone. I'm back. All right. Do the witch hazel real quick. So I've been cleaning bathrooms, 
around the house, like, you know, the more thorough type that you would do. Uh, not just scrubbing your toilet, wiping your sink, but wiping down, sweeping, all the other stuff that you need to do. Uh, trying to get ready for, you know, photos and things like that for the house to go on sale. Did that today a little bit, going to do a little bit more tonight and tomorrow. Uh, hopefully that all goes well. Alright, so here we go. And the grooming coat brush. The cold river soap, soap works. Here we go. It's pretty much all emptied out there. Uh, here's what we got. It's a nice good bit there. Oh yeah. Got some nice peaking going on. Doing, doing, doing. Nice. Look at that. Great body to it. Good slickness. Excellent, in my opinion, post shave feel. <laughs> there we go. All right. Ah, holds moisture well. Tight bubbles. Um, yeah, just really good soap. So, if you don't have anything in it that would uh, alert your allergies or, you know, make you go, oh no, I can't use it, try it. Let's see what you think. Cold River Soap Works. And now it's all uh, called Select. Uh, if you like Anise, see if they got something now that still has a niece in it I'm sure that would probably be the one that's supposed to be this scent but this is the Nouvelle Fougere uh, again that was with the mongoose this is the legends the big handle shaverage for tonight is the abita abita porter the Bourbon Street Porter, which is uh, fermented in bourbon barrels, and oh, stuff is great. If you don't like sweet porters, and stay away, but oh man, delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. Man, I love the smell of Thrust Flotus. Just smells so good. Sorry guys. Trying to see how everything's lining up. Looks good from what I can tell. Looking in the camera, because it kind of shows me a little bit more back here. Looks good. All right. Um, now for the fine, clean vetiver. It has kind of a little restrictor there on top, so you don't get too much at one time. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a close shave. Tita slap for Jaime. All right. A little bit on the forearms. Do it in a little bit. go great way to finish off this shade thank you everybody for watching if you can make the dirty south shavers meet up please do it uh, I'd love to see you guys there uh, bring your gear there's gonna be uh, time for you guys to do some BST stuff if, with other people that'll be there um, and I'm just excited to see who can make it. And God bless you and thank you for watching.